All right, three really cool tricks for your motion graphics. We're gonna learn how to make wires collide with physics. We're gonna learn how to export your UVs to add some motion to them. And we're gonna learn how to animate anything to rotate on its corners. So let's jump right into it. All right, in this first process, I'm gonna show you how to create these wires that collide to each other with physics and they react to force fields to make it look like wind or just make it look random. It's a really fun motion graphics process. So go ahead and import some lines and duplicate to however many you want. Start with a few you can always duplicate later. Join them all with Control J, right click and convert them to a mesh. Pick the end of each vertex and then go and make them a vertex group. That's really important and we're gonna use that a bit later in the physics. Turn them into soft body and then in, in the goal, select that vertex group so that they can hang, otherwise it won't work properly. Go ahead and bring your gravity down to zero under the field weights and then be sure to turn on self collision. And then to watch all the magic happen, go ahead and add a turbulence force field and watch them all move around and collide. It's really cool. Then head over to geometry nodes and add these nodes in order to get some geometry on those wires. Now you'll have to go to the ball size and just kind of tweak it and watch your animation to see when they're colliding properly to where they're not not hitting, but they're also not colliding into each other. Try to find that perfect balance in the ball size. And that's all gonna be dependent on how um, wide you make those wires. And just add a simple material to your wires. Go ahead and add whatever lighting you like to do. And you're gonna have a really cool physics wire colliding system. If you want to see another example of this entire process, this creator also did a very similar one where they're also kind of moving on each other and colliding with a rock. It's a very cool process and it's a small creator, so you guys should subscribe to him if you're into motion graphics. He has some really cool videos. And I also created this animation for my tier two and tier three Patreon members. It's a pretty cool in-depth process um, and I love making that stuff. So feel free to check out my Patreon in the description. So I have this keyboard and I wanna add some letters to it and I also wanna be able to animate animate the letters as well. So what I'll have to do is hit the tilde key to go to the top and I'm gonna go to edit mode to see all of my faces. I'm then gonna hit U and click on project from view. Then I'll go to the UV layout and just kind of make sure this is all set up correctly. And then the really important button, export UV layout. Then you can specify how big you want that image to be. Now what you can do is head over to any image editor you like to use and place in the letters that you like. And then if you wanna add another step, you can throw it into something like After Effects and animate them kind of moving around, or you can animate the letters changing. Really, the sky's the limit here in what you get to do. Then we're gonna take that image and use it as a mask in the shader editor. So in the shader editor, get two principled nodes and connect them to a mix shader. Then you can use the image texture as a mask to reveal those two principled nodes. It's a really fun process that you can then take those principled nodes and attach image textures or any other procedural roughness stuff you want to do. It's really cool. You can also use the video file if you did that and you can animate that in and make it look really cool and have a lot of control over your whole system. Now, because there's free memberships on my Patreon, I added the whole tutorial from all the materials to modeling the keyboard to showing all of this totally for free on my Patreon. There's free memberships, so I do wanna let you guys know you don't have to pay for Patreon if you don't want to, but there's still some really cool free content on there where you can learn this whole keyboard. Now, this last one is very specific, but if you ever wanna take an object and rotate it on its corners, you're really gonna be happy you saw this. So in this case, we're gonna rotate a cube on its corners. And if you've ever tried it, you'll know those corners kind of dig into the ground and we want them to do it on the corners, which means we have to find a way to create new anchor points to rotate each corner on. Let me show you how to do that. So first go ahead and get your cube and import an empty and hold down control and snap that to the edge of the cube. Number that first empty, number one. Then go ahead and duplicate the empty and bring that one to the very edge of the next corner, number that number two, and keep doing that on all of the corners. And you can go around several times doing that, numbering them. Each empty represents a rotation, so however many rotations you want the cube to go, that's however many empties you're going to need. Then go ahead and start parenting those empties from bottom to the top so that they're all parented together in succession. And then animating is very straightforward. Just animate each empty by 90 degrees and rotate it however many times you need to, and you have that. And this doesn't work on just a cube, anything with corners that you wanna rotate, a tripod model, a, a mug, a, a microphone, I'm just looking around my room. Um, but all of this works with this system. It's really fun, it's relatively intuitive, and it's super powerful. So with that being said, those are three really cool processes that you can add to your motion graphics today to make them look cool, have some fun, have some creative control. I love this stuff. 
And there you go. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to check out that Patreon stuff that I mentioned, the free memberships or anything else like that, you can check that out in the description. It's a great way to support what I'm doing here. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next tutorial.